here at my beaver spot where I got my first beaver this year. My drowning lock is gone, but I can't see anything down in. We're gonna go ahead and pull this big bad boy out. And, huh, huh, another little duffer. Slaying them, boys. Slaying them. Single toe. The old number three. No, four. I can't remember what this one is. Victor Oneida jump. Who smell the caster on that guy? Hell, oh, hey, dead beaver's a good beaver. Okay, guys, so I found good fisher sign at this site. So I've got a cubby set there. I set three sets in this area. Um, it's quite deep like this is probably like a hundred foot incline from here to the top so i what i did is i put three different sets at three different levels so i got one in just above river level because that river right over there fluctuates significantly with rain that we get in the fall so it doesn't take much to get it to rise up I put it on the high side where I won't have to worry about it getting washed away. And then there's some good beaver sign down there too. Found this beaver stick, a little fancy walking stick, not very sturdy. Um, right up. Uh, where are we? By that tree or right there. There's a one and three quarter uh, four coiled victor. And then at the very top, uh, I won't, probably won't make a video that long to it, but right along a popular game trail, looks like to be deer tracks, coyote, and some other stuff. Obviously, Fisher. I set another set. Something living in there. Can't make it out, but there's something. A nest of some sort right there in this big dead hemlock. Um, I am going to have to come down and check these every day regardless. The kind of bears you can do every 20, 48 hours because they're a killing set. But while I was standing here quietly... Somebody went kayaking down the river, which is unusual for this time of year. And the lady did not seem pleased I was there. I'm on private property that's owned by a big farm that ha I have permission to trap. And she just didn't seem pleased I was down here. I didn't take a video of it because I didn't want to make her madder than she was. So... I know she's in a lime green kayak, so that won't be hard to identify. She's like old school with this big blonde curly jerry curls. So, if I come up with missing traps, I'm going to have to see if I can find her. So, hopefully in the next day or two I'll get a fisher. That'd be fun.